Ah, oh, hello beautiful people. This is part two, the long awaited part two, to my little free library unhaul. <laughs> oh, I am finally, finally in the headspace to do this. Also, um, it is 513 and it's not pitch black outside. It's also not freezing cold. So a lot of things are aligning. I'm, I'm like warm. <laughs> a lot of things are aligning for this video to happen. And I was thinking about it because I think the last time I did a little free library on haul, which was like, is still one of my most popular videos. And I don't really understand why. I mean, I'm awesome, but I guess people really like little free libraries mixed with unhauls. I don't know. But I think the last time I did that, it was summertime, which makes sense because it's warm enough to be out. You have more daylight hours. It just makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, and also this is my mom's car. I don't have a car. So I borrow her car when I do this. It has to work out where there's like several hours left once she gets home from work. But yeah, hi, hello, my name is Atia. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. And we are going to pop around town. I have four bags, four full bags that you saw me struggle to put in the car. I have four full bags of books that no longer need to be in my house that we're gonna go give to several free little libraries. I need to look on the app, the little free library, and I am determined this video to not keep calling it a free little library. It's a little free library. I guess I can hit up the two that I did before. There's one that is in a park and weirdly enough oh okay so if it's orange that means i visited it and if it's purple i have not because they have like the check-in feature so there's one like in my neighborhood and there's another one near a park that i sometimes take my little cousin to so i think i'll do those two first fill them up as much as i can right just like i'm not trying to go to 10 different free little libraries i'm not if i can whatever if i can hit less than five and get rid of all these books i'll i'll be okay i know that in my last video i went to one that was near a school so i might venture over there again because i figure if it's near a school that means that okay not the battery dying bruh that means that it's high traffic so the likelihood of it being empty it's pretty high. I'm actually gonna run back into the house. I'm glad that I sat here and started the video and ran my mouth, and I'm gonna go get the spare batteries. Right, so we're here at the first one, and uh, it is actually pretty full. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, I was not expecting this at all. There's definitely some room, so yeah i'm just gonna tidy it up because like the top shelf looks great and the bottom shelf is chaos so i'm gonna tidy up the bottom shelf a little bit and then add some books but yeah i'm gonna do this quickly because again I'm not supposed to be parked here okay so i think i'll add slay Copper Sun, this graphic novel adaptation of the Odyssey, as well as a Keepsake, which is a Rizzoli and Isles novel. There's also room for a few more. So we have The Devil Takes You Home. I can't find the dust jacket. I not for the life of me, so this is just gonna go in there naked. We also have Send Her Back and Other Stories, Dear Grumpy Boss, and Girl Serpent Thorn. So 
I donated eight books and this is my official telling of editing out to you to keep account. So in the first free little library, we donated eight. And now let's head to the one that is by the park. All right, so we are at the second little free library. It is, like I said before, by this park. And I can see from here that it is essentially empty. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take one of these bags and fill it up from there instead of coming, walking like back and forth, back and forth. So yeah, let's do this. I ended up donating a total of 32 books to that little free library. I hope the lighting isn't horrendous. Oh no, not the windshield wipers. Uh, it was so cool because as I was going back the second time to add the, like, I had these pocket books. I'll put a graphic of like what I'm talking about. It's 10 of them. And as I was doing it, there was a lady, she was leaving with her kids and she was just perusing. So she ended up taking at least 11 which is pretty cool. So yeah, I donated 32 books. We're making some progress. Now I actually need to, I need to look to see where some, where that other one that I was talking about that was near the school is because it's in a part of the city, like my neighboring city that I don't go to. I need to actually, cause okay, so I have too many tripods with me and the one that I was using outside is you know great for outside and it's you know tall enough to do what i need it to do but it's not great for chit chatting in the car but um yeah so let me actually look up maybe i can sit you on the seat let me look up Ooh. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous not the sideways there we go let me look up where that is and get directions to that all right, so I found it. Weirdly enough, the last time I went, I guess I forgot to check in. So I was looking for like the orange marker. Is that what it's called? The orange drop pin, but it didn't have that because I didn't check into it. So I need to definitely remember to check in. All right, so I'm here at Little Free Library number three. And funny enough, it's actually pretty full. I could probably fit like maybe six books in there. Um, it's cute too. I feel like they repainted it since I was here last summer. But yeah, I feel like I could fit maybe six books in there, but it's not the unhaul extravaganza I thought it was going to be. And the only reason that I'm not driving away and finding another one is to justify me uh, driving 10 minutes to this location, like it's way out of the way. So yeah, let's let's put some books in this very cute free little library. I did it again, little free library. All right, let's do this. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Again, I don't remember it being this cute. Very full up there. So I guess there's some room down here. If you like tidy it up a little bit. I think I'll do the Devouring Grey, An Education of Malice. I don't even know what that's about. We'll do prep. Oh, this is a Zadie Smith book. It's funny, I was just talking yesterday about how I wanna read something from her. Oh, this is signed too? Yeah, we're not unhauling that. <laughs> I have an extra arc of this, which is why I'm unhauling it. <laughs> we'll do this. Well, we'll see what can fit. What? 
Alright, so 12 books actually fit in there, which is double what I <laughs> had estimated. Alright, time to find a new one that I've not visited before. Let me actually check in to the one that I just visited. I don't have the viewfinder up on my camera right now, so hopefully like this doesn't look absolutely insane because me and my vlogging camera were fighting a little bit. I'm not trying to go like all over the dang city, you know, like <laughs> this is also giving me a chance to continue on in my audiobook. I'm listening to The Edge of Midnight by Beverly Jenkins. I haven't really been in an audiobook mood, but there were a lot of dishes in the sink last night and so I started, I restart, not restarted, but I picked it back up. And now that I'm out and just driving about, I can listen to my audiobook some more. I love this cardigan, I really do. But it keeps getting stuck on stuff. Like I love this cardigan so much, I have two. I have an outside one, which is the one I'm wearing, and I have one that I wear around the house. But sis needs to stop being stuck on things. But all right, let us venture some more. All right, slight change of plans. I'm still gonna go to that one I just mentioned, but it is 6.25 right now, and my boyfriend's train is getting in around 6.40. And the one that I'm about to go to would have would take me past the train station, and that doesn't actually make sense to me, because it doesn't make sense. So, I know of a little free library that's by the train station, so I'll go there and fill up some books, and then hopefully by the time I'm done with that little free library, his train will have arrived, and then we'll go to that other one. So you're getting you're getting some um, surprise Baymetrius content. His name's Demetrius, but I call him Baymetrius. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the plan. All right, so this is the one by the train station. Oh gosh. Come on people, why why we keep doing this? Ugh. All right, let's tidy this up a bit. Oh my goodness. All right, let's work some, some editing magic. One bucks you guys 31 bucks that means we have one more bag and I'll be done I hope that the lighting isn't too rough uh, I can't tell because me and my vlogging camera like I said we're fighting she is threatening me with retirement so we're at this little free library and of course the last <laughs> trying to give me all the light the last one Y'all, how come the driver's side mirror don't have no light? Anyways, that's irrelevant. What was I saying? Oh, of oh, course, wow. the last free library that I'm trying to just get rid of all these books. Why is this full to capacity? I don't understand. It really had me driving out here among the hills. I ain't never been to this neighborhood. I don't know where I am, and it's full. And I'm also sitting in front of these people's houses, and we black. So we're going to wrap up this clip real quick because I'm not trying to be that person in a horror movie or just that black person on the news so Demetrius had the great idea say hi to donate the rest of the books to the library because we were already going to go to the library so that's what we're going to do because they now do take donations they weren't at one point hashtag COVID but now they do so yeah <laughs> now to figure out how to get back oh but I'm simultaneously filming two different projects. 
I think do we need to contact the staff member first? I don't know. Because it says Yeah, I said we should. What in the ghetto hell? Stop! <laughs> I probably won't donate that one. This one has mold, so I won't do that one either. Oh my gosh. Oh, here. This book is, this bag is full of water damage books. <sighs> this would be the bag that the most water damage when our floor flooded. Here we go, here we go. So two. Some of these things just go in the trash because they have mold on them. But I feel like throwing out books in a library is sacrilegious, so we'll do that someplace else. Okay, two books. I feel like I read that book. I think you did. Hmm. I think it was a buddy read for us. I never finished it. Ugh. Give me anxiety. That'll be for another video. But yeah, so... Thanks for watching. <laughs> Make sure we give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I release a new video. And I really, really, really hope that you can hear me because I am whispering. Comment down below, do you have any little free libraries in your area? If so, do you donate to them? Take books out from them? All of my socials are linked down below as well as links to my Etsy shop and my Pango bookstore front. And I will see you in another video. Bye. I ain't living for the moment. I see what's mine and I want it. Hungry like a Pac-Man. Like Bruce Wayne and Batman. Naruto with a Hanzo, got a sharp mind like I'm my style. I'm copyrighting, so it's all mine. Check it for me, I'm in the sky.